welcome back to my channel. So I just did a really big grocery shop at Trader Joe's. It's been over two weeks since we've been to the grocery store. So I thought I would show you some of the stuff we got. I got a lot of new vegan things and just, and they're all processed, but summertime we just are a little bit lazier and busier. And so, I don't know, I'm just trying to give you excuses, but it's better than eating out, which is what we've been doing way too much of. So first we got some bananas, always an essential. About twice a week I let the kids have some yogurt, so Chloe picked out this one as her favorite. This hummus is the best and yummiest hummus ever. Only problem is I can actually eat this whole thing in one sitting. So, which isn't too bad, you know, it's 35 calories a serving. It does have oil, so if you're a vegan that doesn't have oil, this isn't the hummus for you, but it's so yummy. The kids love cinnamon raisin bagels, so I got some of this with the sprouted wheat. Then some organic kale and organic spinach that I put in the freezer for our smoothies. I decided to get some potato fries for us just to add into dinner, just for a little extra side. The kids picked out these mini chicken tacos. Taylor has a friend over this weekend, so he um, was saying how much he loved these at his house. So we got some of these for the kids. My kids don't eat fully vegan. I don't even eat fully vegan, I would say. I have meat maybe once a month or once every few months and dairy on the weekends. So that's kind of how I've been eating. I kind of want to go back to all vegan, but uh, you know, I'm working on it. I was texting Danny when I was at Trader Joe's asking her if she had any good things to recommend because she recently went vegan and she said this was something that was essential. The Thai vegetable and I won't even pretend to know how to say that word. So, got those. I'll let you know if it's good. I also got a cantaloupe. I call that candy loaf because it tastes like candy. I love cantaloupe right now. Then Taylor picked out this as his yogurt. We got some orange juice for smoothies. Some eggs also for Jimmy and the kids. They like to have eggs and waffles or breakfast burritos. Then some organic cucumbers. Chloe likes to just eat these plain, which I love that she does that. And then also we got this vegetable curry. Another recommendation from Danny. And then look at this, I told you, we got a lot of food, so I'll try and move through this quickly. I got some meatless meatballs for some vegan spaghetti and meatballs. Then this is for Jimmy because he's obsessed with jerk chicken right now, so I got that for him. Got some fruit for my smoothies. I love pineapple, mango smoothies the best. Um, and then I got another bag of strawberries. Some vegetable burritos. These were also recommended by Danny. The vegan tikka masala. Jimmy actually really loves this. It's a little bit spicy for me, but he thinks it's really good. This I've never tried. It's the Kung Pao Tempura Cauliflower. Looked interesting. I think Chloe might really like this if it's not spicy, but we'll see. Then this is another recommendation from Danny. So it looks really good. This actually looks like something I'm gonna love. Some more cheese for grilled cheese for the kids. Vegetable spring rolls. Oh, I have like this obsession with spring rolls right now, the vegetable ones. So I'll let you guys know if that's good. And then they were also sampling these little taco, like black bean. They use this black bean in these tortillas. And then they made this little topping out of this salsa and the sour cream. So the boys, Taylor and his friend, loved them. So we're gonna make them for dinner one night while he's here. He's here for the whole weekend. Um, and then these are for breakfast burritos. So got those. We've never got these before, but they looked healthy. Then of course we got some organic fruit, blueberries and strawberries. Some sriracha, which actually didn't mean to buy, but Somehow, I brought it home with me. Then, this is my favorite juice to use in my smoothie. So I do half a can per smoothie. It just sweetens it up and it tastes so good. Not from concentrate. Then they were sampling this melon juice. It's completely from honeydew melon. No concentrate again. And Chloe really loved that, so I got that. Then I got a huge watermelon and I was researching how to pick a good watermelon. And what I read was you want to find one that has 
a very light bottom. That means it's been sitting on the patch for a while to get nice and ripe, and then you want it to sound hollow. I don't know if I picked a good one, I hope I did, but we'll see. These are my two favorite pastas to get from Trader Joe's. It's the vegetable pasta and the brown rice and quinoa pasta. It has really clean ingredients and they taste good and I actually mix half a bag and half a bag for our family of four. I got these face wipes because I just ran out and I haven't placed my Vitacost order yet. So I decided to try them out. I don't know if they're any good, um, but there's no parabens, alcohol, aggressive surfactants, colorants, allergens. So we'll see. There's only 20 and they were like $4, I think. I let the kids pick out some Z bars as a little treat. We try not to get these too often, but every once in a while it's fine. And then my sister was telling me that these were really good, the Go Macro Bars, peanut butter chocolate chip, she said is her favorite. And they are vegan, microbiotic, and I don't know how many calories there are. 290 calories. These also came home with me by mistake. <laughs> I was pulling them out and they looked really good and then Jimmy said not to get them, but I got them because I forgot to put them back. So I'm sure they'll get eaten. Taylor loves these Simply Nutty Bars. They actually do taste good. They taste like kind bars. And then Chloe loves her organic grape jelly for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. We got some Honey Nuttos for cereal for the kids. These I think are new, the Mango O's. Oh, I love mango. I can eat mango all day, every day. And then lastly, we got some oatmeal. Taylor has two packets of this almost every morning for breakfast. He loves this stuff. And that is my very large Trader Joe's order. If you guys have some stuff that you love from Trader Joe's, please let me know in the comments below so I can try it next time. And if you've tried any of this stuff, let me know what you guys think. Okay, so it's another day, another grocery shop, and this isn't everything, but we just got a few new things. I went to Whole Foods, Trader Joe's. Some of it was the same stuff I showed you earlier, and then these are just new things I found. So. I am on a mission to stay 100% vegan, 100% of the time, as much as possible. So I got this Kite Hill ravioli. It's kind of expensive, so I don't think I'll get it all the time, but I figure every once in a while, if it's good, I might get that. I did go hungry and I did go with PMS, so that'll explain a lot of what I got, including these muffins, but we are going to like a barbecue type thing tomorrow. And I wanted to bring my own dessert so I wouldn't be tempted. These just looked really good and they're vegan. Then, you know, I've had a rough, rough week with, with kids. So I got three different vegan donuts. One's like a white glaze, one's chocolate, and then one's maple glaze. I'm not gonna eat them all at once, so don't worry. Then I also got three of these Kite Hill yogurts. Again, I've never tried these, but they looked really good. They're made with almond milk, and these are the ingredients. Then I found these at Trader Joe's. I had these at the Derma E retreat that I went to, and they are so good. I'm not usually a big fan of kombucha. Like, I like certain kinds of kombucha, but this one I really love. So these were at Trader Joe's. I got three of those. At Whole Foods, I got some vegan dressing, the vegan ranch and the vegan Caesar. I've never tried them, but I'll let you guys know if they're good. This was at Trader Joe's and it just sounded really yummy. It's another vegan option. I love cranberries, oh, they're just so good. So there's the nutrition information and the ingredients. Another Kite Hill product, this is a cream cheese style spread. I've heard great things about it. Then these I really like and Taylor actually really likes. So I'm gonna end up getting these on Vitacost because they're cheaper there, but it's just a vegan beef jerky. And then this, okay, these were a little bit pricey. I won't get these a lot, but like I said, it's been a long week, a long summer, a long life of parenting. <laughs> And I needed something to just keep me from eating something non-vegan. So I've never tried them. I'll let you guys know if they're good. 
And that is all the new stuff that I got from the grocery store. I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you guys soon. Bye. I am about to share with you guys my favorite beauty things from this last month and I'm keeping it to the bare minimum this month because I'm also going to film a video of my makeup essentials, the makeup products that I just tend to grab and use the most.